I gotta be honest, gaming is winning this year. And not just with the games that are coming out this year, but the fact that indie devs are showing out. And today we have a good mix of Elden Ring meets Rise of the Ronin, and you get that with Die by the Blade. Die by the Blade is a 1v1 weapon-based single strike fighting game that embraces tactical fighting and tactical consequences, hence the one-hit kills. This game was developed by Grindstone and Triple Hill Interactive. This game has no reviews because it was released today and the price tag looks to be around $20. So here's another episode of Don't Play This Game Yet, where I give my biggest compliment, biggest complaint, and final recommendation concerning this game. Huge shout out to the devs for giving me an early copy of this game, but without further ado, here's some raw gameplay. Hey, let's get it. Okay, okay, these are dope. Oh yeah, I'm about to make him mink mink straight up. Customizable options, make him a hood samurai. Let's give bro some gold watches. Oh snap. What up, homie? Oh no. Oh snap. Oh! Hmm. Got you. Oh, he got me. Whoa. Yo, oh, I got did dirty. Clearly, I need some practice. Oh, the dojo is different. The aerial view is cool. <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go. Let's run that back, baby girl. What's up? Hmm. Oh, yeah. I'm trained up now. Hmm. Yep. Nope, off me, boy. Got him. Oh, yeah. Oh, that get back is sweet, boy. Now that we got past that, you might as well smash that subscribe button to get more gaming content like this. But without further ado, let's get into my biggest compliment, biggest complaint, and final recommendation concerning this game. Number one, my biggest compliment is the gameplay itself. When I say this game is one hit kill, this game is one hit kill, and one mistake and one miscalculation will cost you. Because I got this game early, I was only able to play the AI, but I tell you right now, if you want to get some friends to frustrate, then play this online. Everything down to your weapons matter everything down to your stance matters everything down to your technique matters which means even while you're training whether you put the game on easy or on expert you're going to pay if you do not play with your head and number two my biggest complaint about this game will be that everything is hard to get to yes i know there's a catch 22 here between the grind and microtransactions but i believe the grind should be for skill only honestly when it comes to items i don't mind small microtransactions i will pay for my clothing i will pay for my style i will pay for all that i don't know why but that's just me but everything in this game is earned down to game modes clothing characters and style so in order to get to anything in this game you have to play the game extremely bare bones get some xp and that xp is a very slow grind but then eventually you will unlock things as you level up but things don't really get good to the higher levels which means it's kind of a long grind my final recommendation is do i suggest this game to the casual gamer and my answer is 100 percent die by the blade is exactly what it says it is it's a skill based game combat one hit game you're going to very much enjoy yourself but I think for the competitive player, this is a skill-based combat game where actually being good matters and anything can happen. So if I was to give this game a rating right now based on general fun to the casual gamer that is not competitive at this very moment, what you have right now, I would give this game an honest 7 out of 10. But if I was to give this game as a whole a very good number to make sure that I give this a fair assessment with all things considered, I would give this game an honest 8.9 out of 10. Because this game is good, it's actually very good, but I promise you're going to have more fun if you're competitive not so much the casual gamer but there is things for the casual gamer that still makes it fun just after a while you may lose interest if you're not being fully competitive and if you want to see these gameplay reviews live make sure you check my links and follow me right here but if you're looking for some good action to get into i suggest you click this link right here and see what i had to say about this game